This is a fairly typical multimeter. I'm going to show you how to use it to measure current. Multimeters come supplied with leads, and one lead should always be plugged into this socket, marked COM, for common. The leads are both just insulated copper wires, but by convention we always plug the black lead into COM. With any multimeter you need to look at the labels on the other sockets to see which one is appropriate for what you're trying to measure. There's a fuse inside here and if you use the wrong socket it could blow or you could even destroy the multimeter. On this multimeter there's just one voltage socket, this one marked V. However, if you're going to measure current, there's a choice. If you've no idea of the size of the current, then start here. This socket, on this setting, lets me measure currents up to 10 amps. But nothing smaller than a hundredth of an amp. If you go above 10 amps, you could destroy the multimeter. Let's measure the current in this circuit. Ammeters are always connected in series, so I need to break the circuit and then complete it again with the ammeter in series. The minus just means we have the opposite polarity. 0 0.14 amps, that's 140 milliamps. Since this is below 200 milliamps, I can measure it more precisely using one of the more sensitive ranges on the, on the multimeter. In order to do this, I need to move the red lead into this socket marked milliamps, which is connected by a fuse which will blow if the current exceeds 200 milliamps. Let's measure the current again. 135.2 milliamps. This is on the 200 milliamp full-scale deflection range. If I move to the 20 milliamp range, the current is too high. So I get a 1 on the far left of the display. But there's no harm done. I just click to a higher range to get a reading. The fuse will only blow above 200 milliamps. If the milliamp ranges do not work at all, I just get a zero, then someone has blown the fuse and it needs to be replaced. However, the meter will still work as a voltmeter. 